Um, Chipotle lovers can now buy burritos with Bitcoin, Ether, and more. Chipotle is using Flexa, a payment system that allows retailers to accept 98 digital currencies. I'll try this out. What? That's We could do yeah. this video. We should do this video. But have you noticed a lot of companies are doing this right now? Gucci recently and Starbucks yeah, but, as well. But, uh -huh. but I don't you feel like the Chipotle one is a cool title? It is. It you, is. You, using... Like that, cr buying Chipotle with crypto? Yeah, buying my lunch with that crypto. That seems to be the most normal thing to do with crypto. Buy Chipotle? Yeah. You're yeah. not going to get Gucci all the time. Yeah, right? exactly. I see what you're Starbucks saying. Starbucks, yeah. maybe. Star Starbucks, not bad, but Starbucks... Sorry, I think the Starbucks was not... They're not accepting cryptocurrency. They just got involved in the NFT space, so... Oh. No, no. This, this one... I like this video because it's also Chipotle is just inherently it's kind of fun. Like you're ordering, like mm -hmm. there's many ways to have it. Who doesn't like Chipotle? There's many ways to configure your thing. And then you go in there with your crypto. There's probably so many fees and stuff going on. Uh, customers at Chipotle will now be able to pay for the burritos with cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ether, and Dogecoin, and a move that could help crypto become more mainstream, according to trade publication Restaurant Business. But there's just one important caveat. Chipotle will accept the crypto through a payment system called Flexa which is far from the decentralized technology that crypto supporters have promised for over a decade. Flex announced the arrangement with Chipotle in a blog post Wednesday, and one Twitter user in Florida even posted a video yesterday showing how the process works. Okay, we can do something similar. I guess, do I have to move crypto into some kind of Flex account? Probably. Oh, Let's see. Loud. Very loud. Well, he's just tapping a QR at Chipotle. Hooray, I paid with crypto as a crypto they gotta burrito. They got to train all these people. That's a crypto burrito. No, for them, it, oh, pro wow. it scans like a, like a card probably. Like a card, yeah, yeah. Or, or like their own app or whatever it might be. Crypto cool. burrito. What do you like on your crypto burrito, guys? This is kind of cool. Oh, you like it? <clears throat> um, so how does it work? Okay, Twitter users reported they failed to get Flex's app apps to work at the chipotle on wednesday with one person in new york saying no one at the restaurant knew how to let them pay in that way another user helpfully suggested that cashiers need to select gift card in the payment options menu before customers can pay using the flexa system so it's being received okay. like a gift card mm. they're still getting the kinks worked out obviously but theoretically it shouldn't be too difficult as long as flex is taking all the risk by accepting the crypto and guaranteeing real money so is flexa doing the transaction in real time i presume their business is a little bit of both uh, fiat currency, crypto, and then doing their exchanges at favorable moments. But uh, they're an intermediary, they're a broker, mm -hmm. they're a credit card. Right. But know, would, kind of. Would the Bitcoin so uh, volatile, doesn't, isn't this risky? Well, I, I would assume that they're doing some sort of lock, some sort of trade. Like oh, okay. they're, they're, they're hedging. Right. Okay. So. Sometimes they're going to make a little bit. Sometimes they're going to lose a little bit. Okay. So it is risky, but if they if they play it right, they can find a way to be profitable. I would think so. I mean, think about when you when you used to travel, and then on your credit card, you would have a currency exchange fee. Yeah. Same idea. Okay. I get it. There's going to be fees to hedge. I don't know. There's something going on. Mm-hmm.